This is our last day in Chemnitz, so it's also our last opportunity to put some flowers down at my mum's grave and um, right over there at my granddad's grave as well. Oh my child, I know you hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault and you don't deserve all the bad in the hurt. Mach das, du musst ihn ganz voll machen. As said before, our last day in Chemnitz. So it's also started to be um, autumn. No more summer. We had to dress warmly. The girls are dressed warmly. But we still got sick, so we're book ending this trip. We started sick, we're finishing it sick. It's not in noses, sore throats, no COVID though. And um, hopefully by Sunday we'll be all right. Today is um, Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, we're going to Frankfurt. And then we've got two nights there, and then we're flying home. So now I've just brought the girls back out to the little community garden here, because there's usually no one there and they can run around a bit and we're not infecting anyone else so that's good um, but yeah it's also we're very much looking forward to going home but it's also sad because I don't know if and when I'll come back here again hip hip hooray hip hip hooray hip hip hooray and one two three go Woohoo! Ah, where is Clara where are you B <laughs> up, up, up. Where is Clara? It's been nearly five months since arriving in Germany. Apart from a few trips, we have spent most of our time with my dad to give him and the girls as much time together as possible. Time we had missed out on due to COVID and the resulting travel restrictions. It hadn't been an easy time. Facing my mum's untimely death, being around to things and her grave was hard, but also healing. Adjusting to apartment living with a little family coming from our setup in Australia took a while. And Chemnitz itself isn't really a tourist hotspot for a reason. But we arranged ourselves with the circumstances and filled my dad's flat with a breath of fresh air and new memories of children's laughter. Slowly but surely, I really felt a very dark cloud lifting off of me. <laughs> My own granddad's passing was another blow, but at least this time I was there and had been able to go to his funeral. I will cherish that summer for the rest of my life though, and all the memories we were able to make in my home country. Spending time with family I hadn't seen in many, many years and probably won't for many more to come was very special for me and the girls. We still used our last few days for some little activities like Izzy's final violin lesson, ending with a mini concert. We also stumbled upon a little street festival just around the corner from my dad's flat. I also went to see my brother and his band No Honey in Paradise perform at one of the venues I used to hang out in a lot in my young years. It was a real blast from the past and so nice to see some of the people again from back then. It had literally been 14 years.
for contrast, we also attended a classical concert in the local park together with the girls. Today, however, was all about saying goodbye to Chemnitz and my family. Clara, how was your last night at Opie's house? Did you have a good sleep? There's the Opa. <laughs> now starting to get some stuff in the car, still not everything. I don't think we're doing too badly with like four people traveling really, but Anyway, we'll see. Have to fit it in there. And then we go to Leipzig to the main station. My dad's going to drop us off there. Hopefully we'll get to see my brother there. And we'll take the train to Frankfurt. Oh well. Still hard to go. Close your eyes. Get some rest. Mark, what happened today? I, I, I'll put a positive slant on it. There isn't one, actually. Well, that's what I was going to say. Uh. It's, it's, <laughs> this is the positive version. This is actually the positive bit. We got actually, it we upgraded did. to a nice room. Little picnic, we've arrived. We've been upgraded to a big family room. I like that. Even got a separate bedroom. We had booked, pre-booked, a train ticket, first, so class. first class with seats from Leipzig to Frankfurt because we didn't want to have the debacle from last time where we had to stand. And um, we got there on time, my brother, my dad, Manya, my friend, they all came to say goodbye which was really nice. And then the train arrived and we got in and like just got our luggage in and oh, we'll find our seats, they should be right here. Then they're telling us the wagon with our seats that we had booked um, wasn't there. <laughs> there were some technical difficulties um, from carriage 31 to 38. 38 was ours and they wouldn't be travelling on the train with that train. So we were standing. <laughs> Couldn't believe it and no one did anything about it. So we had all this luggage, two little kids and nowhere to sit. Everything was occupied. One lady got up. One. Out of everyone sitting there, no, two. Two ladies got up, two people gave a shit. That's a taxi dad. Yeah. <laughs> We're in a taxi. Anyway, there you go. But well, we've made it, we've arrived. I've organized some food. Eating some Indian here, watching some cartoons, cartoons which we not often do. <laughs> But it's desperate times, and we're getting there. The slow day, the calm, and the night will unfold. I never thought that I would be traveling this road. <laughs> We've got a lunatic in our hands. Look at that. All right, this has been a very disturbing morning. <laughs> They've both been lunatics. This one's, um, I, I swear to God, she's also teething, sick and teething. And this one there in the pram, little Izzy, hasn't slept enough. So she is just absolutely terrible to deal with. <laughs> so now we're going outside. All right, well, wish us luck. Well, this is depressing as shit. <laughs> good morning. Did you have a good sleep, Clara? Today is the day we are leaving. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> We're going on an airplane. We're going back to Australia. Woohoo! 
So here we were, nearly five months later, about to go on a very long trip back home with two little kids. I was a bit worried about this flight just because Clara had changed so much in that time and definitely wouldn't be happy anymore to just sit on my lap. See the big aeroplane? Yeah, this one is maybe ours. That one is ours? Yeah. the next flight and after another 10 or so hours we had made it back home. Izzy, where are we? In Australia. Good morning, we're back home and it feels so good. We had, I think we've already adjusted, we had a whole night's sleep now we got here, I mean look at me, I'm adjusted, it's too much said but <laughs> we had the flight from hell. Nothing bad actually happened but Clara was just such a different force to reckon with and she was just wanting to get up and she wasn't the baby that we left with, she wouldn't just lie on my arm and sleep. So um, that was hard, I slept absolutely zero on our whole day of travel. Oh, we got here at 6.30 at night, went to Mark's mum, had, a, had some dinner there because she lives very close to the airport too and the girls were so happy to see her and um, drove home in the dark. I haven't even seen the place. What I see now is like heaps of weeds. <laughs> they both fell asleep in the car. Clara, we could actually just transfer her to her bed and she just slept. She was up once at night with Izzy together. Like they were both up for two hours from like one to three. But then I put Clara back to bed, she was fine. And then I took Izzy into my bed, first time ever. And she slept in my bed and she slept like a little angel. And we all got up at 8.30. Fantastic. And now it's 9.30, everyone had a look through the house, had a bit of an explore, and we had some breakfast. And this place should soon look normal again. <laughs> Alright, well, we're very happy to be back. Alright, talk to you later. Probably when I take you down to the beach. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we I know what we have. have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright